Alright, so welcome back to an episode. Yeah, you guys, I'm DDLC Sometime. We're continuing the uh, manga ride as, as usual. So, yeah. Let's do this shit. We take a turn and we now are now walking in some quiet part of town. Silence between us starts to feel awkward. I'm excited to speak up. I didn't expect to be here. I know my guy didn't really expect to find myself here. Just above with HH of what I usually Not that I don't ever go outside. I go late that feeling in my room. The way things have been going lately are very new to me as well. Maybe I'm just so used to being in school that it feels like what, where I'm supposed to be doesn't be anywhere else. My presence seems important. But don't take it as me late. Things are turning out nicely as far as my opinion. It's okay. I'm sure most of us feel out of place sometimes. Glance over her. I glance over her and see her usual confident expression. We are placing something more somber. As she walks with her eyes now looking down on the ground. Maybe I can lie in the mood with a little story about me, even if she laughs at me instead of instead of with me. I would it would be nice to cheer her up. Can, can a story about me? Of course. Okay, now where should I start? This was an elementary school. I was a lot more shy back then. I read a lot of manga and sometimes even bought them to me. As you can imagine, it, it was all well and good until 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 a person came along it's around me wanting to talk about that all the time. It's not that I have found game, but after playing it a few times, it really became mundane to me. Bringing new stories interests me a lot more. They even pestered me about me not joining them, telling me I'm acting like I think I'm better than them. It really wasn't that I just find different things and see the, the same things play out over and over in the game for me years. I paused for seconds as I tried to think of a way to finish the story in a funny or interesting way, but Monica interrupts me before I can continue. That's a really nice story. I don't know how much I can relate to that. You can. Anyways, can we change the subject, please? Yeah, sure. I want to do anything to make fun. Something's just going. Mm -hmm. Ever since I first saw you, there was always something important or useful it seemed to be doing. Organizing, writing, presenting, studying. It's it's like all you do. Stuff other people would consider work or tiresome at the very least. So I was thinking, do you do anything just for fun? Oh, I am enjoying those things by birth. Well, most of them. But I guess you have a point. I don't usually talk about these things, but I've always been told by my family to spend my time in the most productive manner. If I want to play, I had to play a sport. So a puzzle, practice music, or learning something new. It became a habit, and now it just comes to me without thinking about it. You literally spend every day working and studying. Okay, okay, there is one thing we will call a good pleasure of mine. That is... It might sound mundane coming from me, but I like watching TV and just shut up, shut out all the noise of the world from time to time. Although I don't do it very often because it's kind of lonely watching it by itself. 
I'm 99 short, 99, 99% short that wasn't a hit or that beat. Even if it was, I don't think I just suggest that would volunteer, volunteer to hit a heartbeat to watch you your heart. Now it's your turn to show your guilty pleasure. Pleasure. I would would you like them or alphabetically with my category? <laughs> Even if there are many, they can they can't be that bad. Okay, here's one. I like to play. Don't worry, you're not alone. Although I dislike how how the riots often rely on common stereotypes to grant some men. Do you play them too? But not really. It's more complicated than that. It look I look at her quiz at least, waiting for an explanation. Burn. Unusual answer. Give me some time to think of it over. Minute passes. And, but she still hasn't said another word. I guess she's just wanted to drop the subject. We walked in silence once more. I look at Monica and see a turn book on a turn look on her face. But every step she takes, confidence and humanity from her. This whole situation question what her motive could be for walking around with a guy like me. It's not like I, I'm that great or anything. Even the joke I told her wasn't something to come up with on my own. And just presenting things other people made it in my own way doesn't merit appreciation, right? Finally, she speaks up with a soft voice, but without looking at me. Not far now. Hmm? Monica keeps walking without another word, like she has her sights locked on a target. Maybe she wants to show me an interesting view of, of this place. She stops words, wordlessly and leans on the railing, o looking over the calming, flowing river deep below us. I stand in the middle of the bridge and stare out over the water, gripping the railing with one hand. I hold my breath for a moment, laying out a shaky sigh. My eyes are closed, and I can feel a light breeze brushing past my face. I'm reminded of the sensation of weightlessness, Viper. She suddenly calls out for me with a nauseous tone in her voice. Yes, Monica? Oh, uh, you just seem really s somber for a minute. I got worried you're, you're gonna start crying for some reason. Don't worry, I'm not like that. Glad to hear it. Let's hope you won't get a reason in the near future. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Don't overthink it. She has a point. I'm probably just imagining hidden needs where there are none. I turn back to the river and enjoy the view a little more. We stand there silently for what feels like a couple of minutes. I'm going home, Viper. I turn over to Monica and see that she's already taking steps in the direction that we came from. Did we come here just for the view? Was I supposed to say something? Monica, wait. She slowly comes to the hole and turns to me halfway. I'm listening. Would you mind if I walk you home? Not at all. In fact, I'm glad you're talking. You're taking the initiative. Before we go, I have to let you know. I can't invite you in. You see, my dad is very is a very particular person. He even criticizes the girls I'm friends with. What a bastard he is, like. Does he really tell you of who of who to of who to be and who not to be with? Like, god damn, no wonder she's out of my league. She's probably being held to a higher stance than me. My disappointment is probably written all over my face. But I tried to hide it by looking at the ground and away from Anka. Well, I can live with that. Shame. Monica start, starts walking again, and I hastily fall and catch up with her, her. Like, don't you ever speak up to him? Like, like, 
Like, he is, like, strict with who Monica should hang out with and who not to hang out with. Like, the fuck? We take a similar path as we did before arriving at the bridge. After walking for a few minutes in front, I tried to improve our conversation. So, Monica, did you often get my memories outside school? Kind of time. I was mostly. It was mostly just a Yori. We met at the semi regular basis. Apart from those individual meetups, yesterday was the first time I heard like this. I haven't heard a lot from Yori in the last half a year. But I'm glad she found such a good friend. You know, she's fun to be around. She. Well, that's not the main reason I visit her house about about club me. You could say I was helping her out. Like studying together? No. Look, I think it would be better if you spoke to her about this, okay? As you wish. I struggle to find an interesting topic, but nothing worthwhile comes to my mind. While I'm pondering what say Monica starts texting to her phone. I can't make out what she's writing, but I just thought the senior day on the screen at one point. She stops in front of the gate of a beautiful bar and living house. There's an awesome red Corvette part in front of the garage. I always had a feeling Monica was out of my league. Now that has fortune. Am I even allowed to be here? See you another time, my bro. Before you go, I just want to ask tonight. Are you going to have another meetup in the future? Funny you should mention it. I was just organizing one for tomorrow. Same place, same time. Are you thinking of joining out of your own politician this time? Yeah, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Don't let anyone change your mind, though. Nah, I'll definitely be there, Monica. Alright. I hope you'll have a moderate amount of fun tomorrow. See you later. See you tomorrow. She looks over to the side for a second before turn around. She opens the gate with motion and walks to the front door with elegance in her very, every step. I realized that I've been staring at her when she turned around before entering her house. She gives me half a smile and puts her head on her hand off. I wave at her in a high class, high class neighborhood. I hope she doesn't think I'm a creep for staring at her like that. Like, like, bruh, that's what manga is basically is. Like, I found out that Monica lives in a high-class high, high class neighborhood. God damn. Voice acting already? It's Wednesday, my dudes. I climb out of my bed and drag myself into the bathroom. Water comes down out of the toilet, the faucet, and the shower. No surprise there. They don't... They don't over... They don't do it on their own. Only my... Only on my command as I go through my morning routine. Coming back from my, to my den, the sound of birds chirping outside greets me. I look out of the window, and the weather is beautiful this morning, fresh air, a gentle breeze, fluff, fluffy white, white clouds. If I didn't see it every day, I say, even the grass seems greener. Recall yesterday, my mom was telling me about. Would it be okay if I joined them? I have Zeori's number, so I'll text her and ask her and ask about it. So, just so I'll... Yo, Zeori, I heard you was having a meeting. Well, would it be fine if I join you all again? Her replies arrives a minute later. Yay! I'll see you at the same park, Viper. 
Well, at least one of them doesn't mind me being there. That's a good start, I guess. I wonder what the other girls would be like. Maybe Monica will mind. Maybe Nazi make cupcakes again, and there will be some left for me. Maybe Yuri, you know, have nicer clothes on. Might as well go and find out. Oh shit, you you love fucking Yuri. That's okay, I, li I like Yuri too, bruh. That's alright. Girls are not only does parts when I arrive, but also at the same time. Hi, hi everyone. Hello there. Oh, it's you again. I can't help but notice Maka is nowhere to be seen. Wasn't she the one who organized the meetup? What's wrong, Viper? You have a funny look on your face. Oh, are you looking for Maka? No. What? What is that obvious? But now you mention it, where is she anyway? She's not coming today. So if you only came because of her, you, you can. Nazi, please be more respectful. Whatever. She said she's going to the piano competition or something like that. I don't really remember what she said exactly. She said. So she asked me to fill in for her, since I'm her vice president and all. I see. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to have tons of fun? I guess. What do you have planned for us, Yori? Eh. I don't know. I just feel like saying that. Ugh. How did he even become vice president? <laughs> don't worry, Nazi. I'm sure we'll match even in Monica's absence. This isn't the first time we had to do so, remember? At least this time, she's not showing up late with lame excuses like she did in the club. Am I right? Oh shit. Practicing on a musical instrument is not lame. Wait. Wait, where is. Wait, where is. When did Nazi ever say that was lame? Maybe it was somewhere earlier? I don't fucking know. Oh, come on. Do you seriously think she actually forgot to pay attention to, to the time that often? Mods of all people get real. Well, there could be a change of plans, Natsuki. Like, someone might do something, might do something important, maybe. So, sometimes plans change, Natsuki, and they might not make it today. Well, I did hear other students theorizing about her mysterious piano practices. Monica didn't go into detail about how and when she plays on the piano. But I don't get what can be so mysterious about her practice sessions with. Wait, she didn't even say if, if she's practicing alone or with the help of someone else. What did you hear? What did you hear, Yuri? Oh, it's just gossip, really. But, just baseless allegations is all rumors. Uh, sorry for raising my voice. It's okay, Yuri. Yeah, that's totally no reason to believe Monica's going somewhere else when she's supposedly practicing piano. It's not like boys are staying in the line to get Wait, one second, I, I, I probably accidentally pressed it, but... Do is give one of them her for some extra curricular activity. Hey, Monica's not like that. Come on, Siori. You know she's way more popular than us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Besides, I'm not saying I've seen her do anything. Yet. Speaking of Monica, we're probably not gonna go to the cafe like on Monday, but we can still have lots of fun here. 
Are you okay with that, Viper? Fine with me. Yay. I'm actually kind of relieved because I slightly felt like I didn't belong in such a classic place. We won't have coffee, but we have something else on the menu. Gary brought a book she wants to share with you. Wow, just like the coffee on Monday, dark and sweet. Better not say it, though. Siori, that's a... Uh, come on, don't be shy. I just knew. Never mind. Yuri's struggling for words. Maybe she's making a, a bigger deal out of this than I actually than it actually is. Don't worry, Yuri. I'll I'll I like to share my hobbies with people too. So it's a pretty normal thing to do. Please tell me about about the book you bought. Although I might not. I might not be overly excited about books in general. It won't hurt to listen to her for a bit. I find her passionate attitude towards them admirable anyway. I recently bought a new poor book, which you might like by birth. That's not the reason I bought it. I was going to buy one anyway. Alright, maybe she needs to rest for a bit. I merely went to a store that has been ad ad adapted to a video game. Or so I have heard. Perhaps it can be a good starting point for you to become involved. I'm sorry if this is a bit too sudden. No, it's alright. Don't sweat it, Yuri. What's the story about? Let's see. It takes place in a dystopian future where a new war broke sight, as we know. A once bust bustling city by foolish creatures going in ruin. The main of the hotel populace are forced to live their lives in underground tunnels to escape the deeply the deadly radiation on the surface. However, even despite these most dire of circumstances, humans can escape their nature and and squabble over the low remains. It has elements of philosophy mixed into the post apocalyptic the Little to no life. Live, enjoy. Terrifying fate that can drive almost anyone insane. Search the border of of copy, embracing or coping. That are present in the story. Negative approach to religion, per se. Not to say, spirituality itself is my life. I only recently started to read it, so my description of it was only what I got from a few reviews. In the case of each interest, um, I would gladly lend to you one of my copies. That is if Monica is okay with you having them first. That was nice for you to offer me, Yuri. I'll think about it. Glad I hear it. Hey, if you go for it, we could discuss it together. 
I guess we could. So I haven't really had any discussions about books before. <laughs> you have to show me how it's done before we go in deep. Uh, I would like that. The voice got lower both in pitch and volume as he said that. She's nervously feeling with her hair and physically starts blushing. Like, I, I always knew that Yuri is like shy and stuff like that. When it comes to the, the, it comes to the, the main character, bro. It's alright. It's all like, does she always get so excited when talking about these books? Natsuki and Yuri start laying out their plans for the summer, visiting places, doing things together. A lot of girly stuff that's just boring to listen to. I look at the park with blank expression as soon as all the chatter just fades in the background. Finally, I jolt it back to reality. My dog's barking as it runs past me. I turn around to see it and spot Yori playing around with the, with the ground for a ball. I know it's a lively but distantly calm temper just sitting on the ground looking with curious, curious puppy eyes at all the people around. I want to go there and ruffle that scruffy hair. The dog's cute too, I guess. Hey, am I allowed to give a pat on the head? I'm not sure. She's very open and friendly. I lean down and pat her head lightly. What are you doing? I'm not a dog. <laughs> But I get why they like it so much. Hey, you two seem to be in tune with each other. Did, did it say anything nice to you? Oh. But I'm paraphrasing. She gets to chuckle at me for as long as I've known her. She's always had the ability regardless of how upset I was. I remember one time when she was over in our house and I asked her what's the time. We had an old radio in the living room back then. She read this place says it's it's seventy six point two FM. I couldn't talk talk because I was laughing so hard. I was I teased her for at least a week with it. But she figured out it stops being funny when she looks at me with sad puppy eyes. My birds, do you think I should ask my parents for a dog. They like for a perfect companion. I'll walk him and feed him and do tricks and tell him and walk him. That's a pretty, a pretty big responsibility, you know. Besides, what happened to your cat? I mean, you mean Muffin? Well, he keeps sleeping out of the window one day. Never came back. Never, never even saw him anywhere in the city. Do you think he could start a new life with a new identity? Maybe he got in trouble with a little cat gang. Maybe he was secretly a cat burglar cat and roamed the city burgling bur burglary. There are no cat gangs, Yuri. But because you haven't seen them, it doesn't mean they they don't exist. Cats are very sneaky, you know. While we were arguing about the possibilities of feline crime syndicate. The little dog rushed away, clearing our subject was the point. Wait, the penny isn't done yet! Siori starts running for a new four-legged friend, but gets out when she notices it's running back to an owner, owner of the older man. Siori and Yuri change, change the subject to some books I haven't heard about. So they brought up signs as, that was signed to us at school for a story with a movie adaptation. I'm stuck listening. You know what? I'm about to save you yeah, guys. Uh, y'all yeah, get to find out what the fuck it is in the next episode, y'all yeah, guys. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Virus TV, sign off.